Creating and rigging characters in Cartoon Animator 5 doesn't have to be intimidating. In this video, I'll share my 10 tips for character creation, whether you're designing from scratch or tweaking pre-made characters. These tips will help you create better, more dynamic animations. Let's dive in. Start with a clear plan for your character design. Decide on their personality, movements, and style. Break the character into layers, head, torso, arms, legs, and so on. Each body part should be a separate layer in your drawing software to make rigging easier later. When designing a character's face, break it into parts, like face with left and right cheeks, nose with different segments, and connect them via bones. This setup allows for more realistic movement during animations, especially for side views or 360-degree head turns. Adding customized expressions can make your character acting more engaging and relatable. Experiment with different eyebrow angles, mouth shapes, and eye movements to give your character a wider emotional range. Cartoon Animator makes it easy to swap between these expressions, so your character feels more alive on screen. When creating your character, name each layer clearly and consistently. For example, L arm for the left arm or R thigh for the right thigh. This naming convention helps Cartoon Animator recognize the right body parts and bones. One common issue in rigging is when bones aren't identified because their names don't match the corresponding sprite names. For example, if your sprite is named R arm, your bone must also be named exactly R arm, not R spacing arm or right arm. This small step ensures that Cartoon Animator recognizes and connects the right bones and sprites, saving you from frustrating errors later. To save time, create one side of the character, duplicate the layers, and flip them for the other side. This works great for symmetrical designs like arms and legs. You can always make small adjustments later for asymmetry. However, do remember to rename the bones and sprite accordingly. If not, you will see the infamous SVG error. Pivot points determine how your character's parts rotate. Set these carefully during rigging. For example, place the pivot point for an arm at the shoulder joint and for a leg at the hip. This ensures natural movement when animating. A great trick is to use circular guides to align the shoulders, elbows, and wrists. This ensures that joints rotate naturally, giving your character a more polished look when animated. If you found this video helpful so far, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more beginner-friendly animation tutorials. Have a question or a tip of your own? Share it in the comments below. Cartoon Animator offers pre-made bone templates for humans and animals. Use these to speed up the rigging process. Simply copy and paste the template onto your character and adjust the sprite and bones to fit your design. Starting from scratch can be overwhelming, but you don't have to. Cartoon Animator provides default characters that you can modify. These pre-made characters come with proper bone structures, so you only need to tweak them to match your design. This approach not only saves time, but also reduces the risk of errors since the rigging foundation is already set. If your character has accessories like a head accessories, tail, or long hair, add extra bones to rig these elements. This allows for secondary motion, making your animations more dynamic and lifelike. If you want to add the accessories as part of the 360 head turn, you would need to design it within the head group layer earlier so it can move along with your character smoothly. Remember to connect the bone correctly. If not, it might be grayed out like my robe when I give the wrong bone name. Ensure your layers are grouped logically. For example, all parts of the head, eyes, mouth, nose, should be in a head group. This makes it easier for Cartoon Animator to interpret your character's structure during import. As mentioned in the previous video, each separate element should be best grouped under the same layer so Cartoon Animator can recognize it as a single layer. After rigging, use the default animations to quickly test your rigging like walking or waving. This helps you spot issues with bone placement or sprite alignment before you start animating. It's a quick and effective way to ensure everything is working as it should before you dive into custom animations. 
Before diving into full animation, test your character's facial features to ensure they work as intended. Use CTA's character calibration to ensure your character can convey emotions effectively, making them more engaging and relatable. Keep your character design clean and efficient. Avoid unnecessary layers or complex details that can slow down your animation workflow. Simple, well-designed characters often animate better than overly detailed ones and allow you to focus on storytelling rather than technical adjustments. Finally, save your work often and create backups of your character files. It's easy to get caught up in the creative process, but having backups ensures you won't lose progress if something goes wrong. Creating a 360-degree head turn takes time, but once you've made one, save it. You can reuse it for similar characters or even modify it for different side views that don't require drastic changes. This tip is a huge time saver for animators working on multiple characters. And there you have it. 10 essential tips for creating and rigging characters in Cartoon Animator 5. Thanks for watching Into the Motion and happy animating.